Contract negotiations between the Clifford Jacobs Forging Factory and three separate unions have remained at a standstill. Everybody's union, we have machinist union, electrician union, and boiler factory union. After rejecting an offer from the Canadian-owned company, 70 workers were locked out of work. Literally. Um, we were surprised because we came to work one day and were locked out. We had voted down the contract and um, came to work to continue to negotiate after the contract was, had expired <laughs> and we just got locked out. Workers at the Clifford Jacobs factory in Champaign have been locked out of work for nearly a month. Since then they have had weeks of contract negotiations and will continue to do so until their needs have been met. After a few weeks of stalled work, the company has brought in what union workers claim are less qualified workers. But workers that do this for a living, they cross the picket lines and, and lockout lines. What we do is kind of specific. Um, just not anyone can come in and pick it up. Mm -hmm. So they had to look farther away than here to find people that knew how to operate certain machines. These workers are fighting for better pay and better benefits while the company is fighting for no pay increase and reduced company health insurance, as well as reduced pension contributions. We just want a fair contract. We don't want to take a loss and everything. Negative numbers we don't want. Clifford Jacobs refused to comment to UI7 Newsbreak, but according to the News Gazette, Human Resources Manager Jeff Baker stated that the workers were only locked out after the unions authorized a strike because the company did not expect them to come back to work. Negotiations scheduled for last Wednesday were unsuccessful. Since then, they have called in a federal mediator to take control of the situation. Meanwhile, the union workers will remain outside the factory waiting for their contracts to be decided. For UI7 Newsbreak, I'm Kathleen Foley.